We have Team Chris Jericho against Team Sting. I'm going to tell you something. This one is going to be tough to pick a winner. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 226 pounds, the United States champion, Chris Jericho. With as much WWE talent in the ring, the referee is going to have his hands full tonight. You're right, I don't envy that official job at all. This match is a lot of the reason why so many people are watching superstars week after week. moments from now we'll get this competition underway and if this arena is any indication it's going to be one for the record books oh, they've been waiting a long time for this match don't change that channel this match is sure to be an instant classic a huge opportunity for that superstar tonight. Six-man tag team action coming up. Oh, this is going to be great. Star. Well, you got that right, Cole. It was when he battled Ric Flair at the first ever Clash of the Champions in 1988. Oh, man, what a match that was. It'll be interesting to see how these two teams of three coexist once the bell rings. WCW Hardcore Champion, Cactus Jack. 
As we prepare for this matchup, I'd like to remind everyone, this is brought to you by the folks at 2K Sports. Of all the superstars on the roster, this guy is among the hardest working. That goes without saying. moments out from this six-man tag match. This is gonna be a war. Yeah, but who's gonna win? Plenty of combustible elements involved in this six-man tag team match. Look out! And here we go with this three-on-three -three tag team matchup. Absolutely. And the crowd is all amped up to see how this six-man contest ends. I don't know about you, but I think the three-on-three -three is about as good as it gets in the WWE. Let the games begin. But hey, Sting needs no introductions. So let's sit back and watch it work. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. Let's quickly discuss Chris Jericho for a moment. This is not the type of setting he normally competes in. So when you're in there, how do you make the necessary adjustments so you still end up on the winning side of things? When you have two quality partners by your side, you have a tendency to walk with a little bit of a swagger. I think that's what we're seeing here. Oh, man. We could be witnessing history. Yeah. At this moment, we have six of WWE's most iconic entities in there. Dean Ambrose can go stride for stride with any superstar in WWE, no matter how big or small. Ambrose launches a frenzied assault on opponents that combines brawling, air assaults, and submissions. Well, Michael, what makes the attacks you mentioned even more deadly for an opponent is that Dean Ambrose is one of the most unconventional superstars we've ever seen. No one knows what he's going to throw at any opponent next. What a punch! Remember the last time he executed that maneuver. Dean Ambrose's range of skills certainly venture into the unusual, but the attacks and strategies helped Ambrose become the longest reigning United States champion in WWE history with a 351 day championship reign. That's the third longest ever if you include the title's history in WCW and the NWA. Clearly on a mission here. Bit to be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces 
into one match. But it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far. You really can't pick a winner. Well, it's hard to argue that. But I'd say this one could go and never going for the early cover. That is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. I agree, Cole. I mean, this is intentional humiliation. A oh, quick pin puts out in time. Uh, just barely in time. That was close, you got to admit. a little unhinged and I won't argue that but when you see Ambrose dismantle his opponents with speed high flying attacks and all sorts of violence we got a cover wow he's still down after that oh jeez knocked into next week when he gets going like this there are a few better. Hall with a big time reversal. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Oh, nice counter. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. This guy feeds off the energy from the crowd as much as he feeds off pain. No doubt about it. Dean Ambrose. Hey, from the top row. want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Once the bat goes, it's nearly impossible to stand, let alone deliver any offense. Ambrose starting to struggle now. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it could get. Well said, John, and now's the time for one of these guys to take hold of this match. He's looking a little weary here. 
might be victorious. I think this is it. Oh, no. Hard shot now. Nasty landing. He saw that one coming. And Dean Ambrose manages to reverse out of that one. I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. And the knuckles connect. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Jericho maneuvers his way out of trouble. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming, Cole. Mm. It looks like a shoulder's down. Is it enough? This may be it. just got laid out. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Oh, jeez. Knocked into next week. Oh, what a counter. He anticipated that move perfectly. He's starting to feel it here. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most phenomenal forces into one match. The truth is, though, He's still very much in control of this matchup. Yeah, but despite that, he still appears to be in the driver's seat. Taking quite a beating here. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. You can almost see the confidence starting to drain from his face. And he's got to know full well that he can't let his opponent build any more from this. There's the man. Can his opponent kick out? longer he's going to be able to go. He saw that one coming. Great reversal. He almost took his head off with that Larian. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if you want. He can end it here right now. When this guy's on, Look out. Boy, well, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. Wow. He's still down after that. Here he goes for the win. Let's do this. He saw that one coming. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. Jericho setting it up. Tina. There's the cover. Can he do it? I think he's got him. Two, three. What a six-man tag match. Here are your winners, Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose, and Neville. Chris Jericho has to be happy with that win. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. 
And I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks that was among the greatest superstars matches I've ever seen.